Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, we will understand the default project structure of our Flutter application. So without wasting time, let's get started. As you can see, we have application called first underscore app that we have created in our last application. So we'll try to understand each and every folder in this particular project. Let's start from the first one called dot dart underscore tool. This folder is available from the Dart version 2.0 and it is a replacement of dot pop folder that you will find in the earlier versions of the Dart. This folder is actually used by the pop package manager. The next one is dot idea folder. This folder contains ID specific configurations such as the workspace and etc. It is only used in case when we are developing application using IntelliJ IDEA or using the Android Studio. The next folder is Android. As we know, uh, Flutter code is actually converted into the native specific code for execution. Uh, this Android folder actually contains the native Android code that will be injected in the Android emulator or in the real device in case of your development mode. Now you might have a question that do we really need to edit the content of this folder? I will say yes. We need to edit the content of this folder in case when we have a specific Android code or Android configuration to be done. For example, when we want to add our application to the Firebase or you might want to configure the local as well as the Firebase notification. So at that time, we may need to jump inside this folder and there we have to deal with few files. The next folder is built. This folder contains the compiled code of your Flutter application. The release APK or the APK bundle that we create in order to upload to Play Store will be placed inside this particular folder. Next, we have the iOS folder, which is very much similar to the Android folder. This folder contains the native iOS specific code that can be edited using the Xcode on the machine containing the Mac operating system. We really need to edit content of this folder only when we have iOS specific code or iOS specific configuration to be done, such as connecting your application to Firebase or maybe configuring a local or the Firebase push notifications. The next one is the leaf folder, which is the most important folder in the Flutter project. The entire source code of your application along with all the Dart file and subfolders will be placed inside this leaf folder. This folder also contains the file called main.dart, which is actually the entry point for your program execution. The test folder is used for all automatic testing and managing all test cases of our application. The next one is the web folder. The latest version of Flutter that we use today has the web enabled by default. This folder contains the web specific content and configurations. .git ignore file contains the list of files and folders that must be ignored by the git version control system. We can also specify the files and the folders that you want it should not be uploaded in your git project repository. Dot metadata file stores the metadata of our project such as the project version, the channel and the project type. Dot packages file contains the information regarding components, Dart and Flutter packages used inside the project. This file is actually used by the pub package manager. If you open this file, we can observe this particular file is being deprecated. Instead of using this file, your pub package manager uses the file called package underscore config.json which is available inside the folder called dot dart underscore tool. Next, we have a file called analysis underscore options dot yaml. Using this file, we can configure and instruct the Dart analyzer for checking the errors and warnings. First underscore app.iml, it is actually the application name.iml file. This file is a module setting file and contains the information regarding various modules used in the project. The pubspec.log file is actually used by the pub package manager in order to get the concrete version of immediate and transitive dependencies in the project. pubspec.yaml file is one of the most important file in the Flutter project. 
We use this file in order to specify the assets in the project like images, IDO, fonts and etc. We also specify various dependencies that is the libraries required inside the project. I will create a dedicated video for understanding the pubspec.yaml file in detail. The last one is readme.md file. It is actually the optional file and it contains the project information and the documentation regarding the project. Content of this file will be displayed inside the readme file at your github repository. So make sure that whatever content that you want to display to user inside your readme file, it has to be placed inside the specific file. That's it for this video. If you really like the way I am explaining the concept, then don't forget to like my videos, share my videos, subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.